Israel is home to around half a million Jews of Moroccan descent, and Moroccan culture permeates nearly every facet of society. A majority of young Moroccan Israelis are now second and third generation, maintaining strong cultural ties to the country, despite not being born there. Others, however, have a more direct connection. I was born and raised uh, in Morocco, in Casablanca. Uh, my parents too, they're from Casablanca. Um, I left Morocco when I was 18. Uh, this is uh, all of the Jews in my age, around my age, my time. We are leaving to study abroad. And in last year, I just um, met my Aliyah uh, during the Corona time. Although the numbers are dwindling, Morocco is unique in that it has maintained a vibrant Jewish community, despite the near absolute expulsion of Jews from neighboring Arab countries during the 20th century in the wake of the founding of the State of Israel. The Jewish community is very integrated in Morocco, in Casablanca. People, they know that we are Jew. We don't hide that we are Jew. They, it's no, known. Uh, we have uh, butchers, kosher, we have Jewish school, we have uh, uh, kosher restaurants and kosher caterings. We have temples to go to pray. Kids school from uh, seven years old to 11. Uh, we were like Jews and Muslim in class. So I was, uh, we were like uh, half, half of Jews and half of Muslims and we were together. We studied together, they learned Hebrew, we learned Arabic. They had a choice if they didn't want to learn Hebrew, but everyone uh, wanted to learn Hebrew. It is not an expected story or a common one. While periods of tension have at times clouded Israel-Morocco relations, often connected to the ongoing Israeli-Palestinian conflict, the Jewish community remained largely unaffected and continued to be an integral part of Moroccan society. In recent years, Morocco's King Mohammed VI has made a concentrated effort to restore the country's Jewish heritage, including cemeteries, schools, and synagogues. Now in Marrakech, the king restored the streets in the past, the streets, the streets of the Mela in Marrakech were in Jewish names. He restored, and after it, it changed with the time because the Jews left and it changed. Now he restored that. It's now in 2021, it's with, he restored with the Jewish names on the past of Mela streets. There is no Jew there anymore. Everyone knows that the king protects us. My parents still live in Morocco, my grandparents, my uncles, and you know, and a lot of people still live there. So he's also grateful that we acknowledge this and we can show to the world that we are living in an Arab country and they, there is peace. December 2020 saw the formal normalization of ties between Morocco and Israel a move long anticipated by Moroccan Jews. Israeli culture is deeply intertwined with Moroccan culture, and the Abraham Accords felt like a natural next step. Obviously, there is a, a huge excitement. I'm very happy that it's, uh, you know, I know age in the world, first of all. Thank you. This is now, because there is something you must know, it's that for the Moroccan people and for us, the Abraham Accord doesn't change a lot of things because Israeli, as I told, like tourists, they came often and then they visit. It was safe for them. But it's not everyone that knows and people are also, a lot of people, you know, they were like kind of afraid. They didn't know if they can go there. Every time I say, I say to people, I swear it's trustworthy, don't worry. But now people, they will have the willingness to go more often and then to be, to be less scared. Here in Israel, one can find Moroccan foods and traditions at every turn. Moroccan spices, fish and couscous are staples at Shabbat dinner tables. Moroccan weddings are often legendary events, from the traditional henna party the night before to standing under the chuppah. And Mimuna, a North African Jewish tradition marking the end of Passover, is celebrated across the country. When I was a kid, my dad, he was taking me and my sisters and we were doing the going, you know, the Mimuna, it's like you, you go on every house. This is the, the thing of the Mimuna and then you eat something sweet from this house. Last Passover, Corona was kind of ended and there were like some Mimuna party. And I was so happy because me, this is something I, I will have. I will do Mimuna where I am in the world. I've seen a lot of people keeping this and I'm very happy because sometimes it's people that never lived in Morocco. They just have seen their, their mom or their grandmothers doing this so they know and I'm like wow this is cool. 
While the reality sees a majority of young Jews choosing to leave Morocco for a life in Israel, the cultural roots run so deep that their connection to home is proving to be unbreakable. I'm a proud Moroccan, <laughs> as you can see, and I'm proud of this country. It's amazing, so uh, go to Morocco. <laughs> Thank you.